Hello everyone. Oh, I'm so excited to see all of you. Hi everybody. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Z and I am from Wonder Spark Puppets and today we are going to be making some really fun pig finger puppets today out of pipe cleaners. Let me show you. It is farm week here at Wonder Spark Puppets and that means that all of our animals that we're going to be making this week or all of our puppets I should say have to do with uh, being on the farm. And here is our cute little easy to make pig finger puppet that you can all make at home. And you don't have to make a pig, you can make whatever kind of puppet you want uh, to live on your farm in your barn. <laughs> uh, we are doing um, uh, farm animals this week because this Friday Chad will be performing for free at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, The Little Red Hen. And so you can use your puppets that you make with us today to perform along with Chad in the show on Friday at 11 a.m. And you can just go to our Facebook page or our YouTube channel and see our free live stream there. Okay, so are you ready to make our finger puppets today? Yeah! I'm ready. Okay, good. I'm ready too. Come on. Let's take a look and see what materials we need to make our pig pipe cleaner finger puppets. Well, the first thing that we're going to need are some pipe cleaners. I have one whole pink pipe cleaner and I have um, a smaller pink nails. Um, you don't have to make a pink pig. You could make any color pig you want or you can make a totally different creature. I'm just giving you an idea of a type of uh, animal that you can make with this style of puppetry, finger puppets. Okay, so pipe cleaners. I have some googly eyes. You do not have to use googly eyes, but I love googly eyes, so I'm going to use some googly eyes. I have some tape. I have scissors. I have a pen and a marker. You could also use a pencil. I just have my really awesome pen from the uh, New York City Puppet Fringe Festival that's put on by Teatro Sea. We love that festival so much, so I always use that pen. And I have some glue dots, but if you don't have glue dots, white glue works great for this. And um, I have a round shape that I'm going to use to trace. I'm using an orange bottle cap and some construction paper. All right, so come on down over here and let's get started. Okay, well first I have to make my space kind of organized, you know. If you've done a puppet workshop with me before, you know I like to organize my space a little. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and you can already see, I did it once before right here. I'm gonna take my round shape and I'm going to trace it on my construction paper. And you know, tracing, you wanna keep that shape nice and steady in the middle and then just put your pen around it or your pencil and create that shape. So there is my circle right there. And because I want this to even be a little bit bigger than this, I'm gonna cut out a little bigger than what this, uh, what this circle is, but that was the closest round thing I could find to the size of head that I wanted. So I'm just gonna cut it out just slightly bigger and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. While I have you guys, I wanna make sure that we give a shout out to Springville Center for the Arts, who is hosting Wonder Spark Puppets for the summer in their space as artists in residence. So thank you, Springville Center for the Arts. We are so happy to be here in the village of Springville and uh, making it into a puppet town uh, that will hopefully go forward into many years. So you can see I traced that circle, but because my circle wasn't as big as I wanted it to be, I cut it out just a little bit bigger, okay? But if you have a shape that's the size you want, use that shape. All right, and actually as I'm turning this over, I'm seeing it's not as round as I want, so I'm just gonna trim that a little bit. It looks a little rounder to me now. Okay, so now we have our round shape. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're gonna cut into three pieces. So I'm gonna cut two shorter pieces that are about the same length. And then I have this longer piece right here. 
So let me show you. So these two shorter pieces are about as long as my pinky, okay? And they're the same length, about as long as my pinky, just a little shorter actually than my pinky if we're gonna be technical about it. And then this piece is about as long as my middle finger, my tall man finger, okay? So <clears throat> I'm gonna put my circle face down. That means that I can see my outline or any kind of marks that I had made. I'm gonna take uh, one of my two matching shorter pieces and fold it in half and make a nice little point. I'm gonna unfold it a little bit so that it almost looks like a little arrow and that's gonna be one ear and I'm gonna take a piece of tape and just tape that on to the back just like that and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one take this pipe cleaner fold it in half just like this make a nice point and then we open it up there we go. So we can see that point a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to take it and tape it on to the back. Just like that. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and you can already see here are our little piggy ears sticking out. The next thing we're gonna do is, I always like to do the nose first and then we do the eyes because the nose really tells us, it gives us a center point to then build around. So I'm gonna take this slightly longer pipe cleaner and start spiraling it into a circle. So what does that mean? I'm gonna take this end and bend it in and then just start twisting it around itself until I get the size of nose that I want. Actually, I think that looks pretty good. You don't want it too big. And if you have some extra, you can always put it on the top of the nose because a little nose that kind of protrudes, like sticks out a little bit, is adorable. So here is my little nose that I made by just spiraling it up, just twirling it, twirling it, twirling it up into a little spiral. And then if you have white glue, you can put a white glue dot right on the back here and then push it down. Um, but since we want everything to dry immediately because, you know, live TV and all. I did, Jeffrey Cormer says, uh, Richard Bradshaw, who's an amazing shadow puppeteer in Australia, and his wife Margaret have a room of their house dedicated to their pig collection. <gasps> Maybe I should send this to Richard and say, hi, Richard. Um, I got to take a shadow puppetry class with him at the uh, O'Neill, which is a, the National Puppetry Conference at the O'Neill many years ago. And I made a shadow puppet show of uh, Dunderbeck the Sausage Man. Does anybody know that song? <laughs> if you do, it is a silly song uh, that has a, uh, oh, a, a, funny, a funny few verses but I made a shadow puppet show of that song. Okay, so once you have your pig snout stuck on there, the next thing that we're gonna do is draw on our eyes, and if you're not gonna draw on your eyes, then you can use googly eyes, which is what I'm gonna do, because I love me some googly eyes, and I'm gonna use these smaller little googly eyes, because I feel like pigs have these big heads, but these tiny little eyes that just make them like look so even cuter. Who doesn't love a cute pig? I mean, really, they're so sweet. The, the trick though with these stick on googly eyes is, oh my goodness, getting that stick sticker off. Does anybody else ever have a problem with that? Sometimes it just takes a while. There we go, all right. And we just stick them on. And you always wanna make sure that your eyes are focused unless you're going for the crazy look. Like maybe your pig is crazy, but I think my pig is pretty, Pretty regular old pig. So we have our nose, we got our ears, we got our eyes, and then the next thing we're gonna do is our mouth. So I'm gonna make a smiling mouth on my pig. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? Not only am I gonna draw, oopsies, a smile on my mouth, but I'm also gonna add these little lines here that kinda show where the cheeks start, and it kinda adds to like the, um, 
the fullness of the face and makes him look a little chubby, which I think is cute. Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna do is take our other pipe cleaner. We have our one long full pipe cleaner that we have not used yet. And then what you're gonna do is take your finger, I use my pointer finger, and wrap it around your finger one time so that you have a little bit of extra hanging off. Do you see that little bit of extra right there? I wrapped it around one time. Okay, there's the loop. I know my finger fits in this loop. It's like a little ring, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just bend it around that a couple times so it forms a little loop at the end. So it fits my finger really well. And then I'm gonna twist, twist, twist up my finger until I get to the, the top of my finger. And then I'm gonna take it off again. And attach, again, taking this end piece right here. Can you see it? Here, this might be a better angle taking this end piece right here and then tucking it under and through this loop to kind of twist it through, all right? And you can double check, does your finger still fit? You can always twist it on, but you're, it should fit your finger really easily and you should be able to take it on and off really nicely. And then the last thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your head that you made, your pig puppet head, put it on its face like that Take a piece of tape. You're gonna put the tape, there's a small hole and a big hole. The big hole is uh, where your finger goes up and through and the small holes for the top of your finger, okay? So identify the small hole, put the tape through that small hole, okay? Just like this, halfway. So you have tape on either side just like that. See how it's th halfway through? And then I'm going to tape my puppet head onto the top of that pipe cleaner, just like that, and squish it on. And now, if it lost some of its curl, don't worry, you can retwist it. And then when you put it on, yeah, first time you put it on, there's always a little bit of adjusting, but then then it'll fit you really well. And then when you put it on, let me show you up here. You have your finger puppet that you can make and perform in any of the shows that you might be doing at your house. And you can make sure that the head is on straight. Like I said, the very first time that you put it on, sometimes there's a little bit of adjusting, but then once you know uh, how it looks, then you can perform with it. So that is how we make our finger puppet, pig, pipe cleaner, pipe cleaner, pig puppet, <laughs> out of just simple materials that you probably already have in your house. Um, my name is Z. I'm from Wonder Spark Puppets. We have been making puppets for all of you every single day since March 17th. And this Thursday will be our 100th uh, puppet DIY. So make sure you stay tuned for that. You know, it's much easier to perform this on my right hand because I am right-handed, uh, just so you know. <laughs> so um, make sure that you tune in on Thursday for our 100th puppet DIY. If you like the kind of work that we're doing, the online content that we're offering, you can head on over to wondersparkpuppets.com and find out more ways that you can support us. I want to say a big thank you to um, some of our supporters who uh, supported us through our Amazon wish list. Uh, these pipe cleaners, uh, this construction paper, and uh, these googly eyes were all from uh, the Amazon wish list, which allowed for us to continue to make these puppet DIYs. And we have more puppet DIYs coming your way this summer with our summer schedule. So be sure to check out our Facebook page for our new summer schedule coming at you. Uh, we have more fun things in store. So thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye everybody. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. If you make a pig puppet, be sure to let us know. We want to see a picture of it. We love seeing pictures of puppets that uh, all of you make at home. So make sure that you post a picture in the comments or send us a picture through Facebook Messenger or email us. We love all of those different ways and we want to be able to see all the work that you're doing. So thanks so much, everybody. <laughs> Take care.
Bye-bye.